we're gonna cross. I don't know why I'm so excited, but this is gonna be pretty cool, I'm sure. Look, a couple just got married. They said this is a popular place to get wedding photos. Note to self, Harajuku is crazy to walk in. How many plates is that, honey? 11. 11 plates? Good morning, muchachos. So it is Sunday the 16th, and we are down in the Ginza subway station. We are headed over to the Shibuya area. Um, we're gonna be over in Shibuya and Harajuku, pretty much. Yeah, we're gonna go see the puppy statue, so Hachiko statue, we're gonna go see that. We're gonna do the Shibuya crossing, Hachiko. Yeah, we're gonna do the Shibuya crossing, which is like the, I think it's in the world, but I hate saying that because what if I'm wrong, but it's like, you've seen it on Resident Evil, on a bunch of movies where it's just like the crazy like crossing where everybody crosses, we're gonna do that too. You love Wiggles? I know, baby, she loves you. Um, I was telling her about the Hachiko story, and so she was getting really like, questions and then she's like I don't want Wiggles to die so but then after that uh oh after that then we're gonna go to the Meiji Shrine which is in Shibuya also Yoyogi Park which is where the Olympics area was in I think 64 it was and then oh here comes the subway The train came, so I had to get on. But anyways, yeah, so we're just gonna be basically in the Shibuya and the Harajuku area. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have time to go to any other areas, because we have a couple of stuff on the list, but I guess we'll see how it plays out. I hope you guys can hear me too, but we're on the train of the subway. But um, yeah, we got about, we have to go all the way to the end. We were at stop nine, we have to go to stop one for Shibuya. But anyways, yeah, I'm excited to like go out and explore. Resident Evil and we are gonna go get ready to do that right now I'm so excited this is such a good view I am so excited you guys and then the Hachiko statue is right there I saw it from the window so it's pretty cool that we actually got to see the crossing from the subway station because everywhere I was reading it was saying that you need to like go to the Starbucks or you pay like 500 yen at this one like mall to do it all right we found the Hachiko statue it's really a lot smaller in person, but pretty cool. We just got pictures in front of the Hachiko statue. That was super quick. And now you guys are gonna walk across Shibuya Crossing. Which way do you wanna go first? We're gonna walk it a couple of times. Let's go like this. Like a circle? Okay, sounds good. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm excited. So we're gonna cross. I don't know why I'm so excited, but this is gonna be pretty cool, I'm sure. Here we go. giving samples of like mushrooms and like a lemonade and we actually bought two lemonades for later and then the little mascot came out so Alondra wanted a picture and she's not scared. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so it's been a bit since we've checked in. It's probably been maybe 30 or 40 minutes, I'm not sure, but we decided instead of taking like another train to this part of Shibuya, the Meiji Shrine, we decided to walk it. Um, but yeah, we just walked through a little bit of the Yoyogi National Park, which is where the Olympics, I believe 964 Olympics was. Um, we couldn't like go inside, but we got to like walk the perimeter. And now we're right outside the Meiji Shrine and just like walking in the entrance is gorgeous, you guys. I'm gonna show you. I don't know if this does it justice at all on camera, but it is just like seeing just the luscious trees and just all the greenery. I mean, it is beautiful.
we were like rinsing our hands in our mouth because I guess you're supposed to do that to like cleanse yourself and like get ready for prayer. So I know it's pretty cool though, but yeah, we're getting ready to walk inside and you guys, this is breathtaking. All right, we made it to the shrine and oh my gosh, look, a couple just got married. They said this is a popular place to get wedding photos. Oh wow. But yeah, we just walked in. This is so pretty already. And this is just the entrance. Look at that. This is so pretty. Okay, we just left the Meiji Shrine. It's so crazy though, because it was so peaceful and serene there, really quiet. I mean, there was a lot of people, but it was still really quiet. And like, literally we've left two minutes, and now we're just like in the middle of chaos and the crowds of people, which is just kind of like funny, like how different it is from like peaceful to like a bustling city life. But the Meiji Shrine is right by the Harajuku district, so that's where we are headed right now. We're gonna go walk around there and explore. Um, they have the largest Daiso there, and I mean, it's just like a pop culture area, so just walk around, definitely get some food, because now we are getting hungry. So anyways, yeah, we've done a lot today, and I'm really excited about exploring more parts of Tokyo and stuff like that. You having fun, baby? How's the humidity? <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, and it is overcast, which is nice, versus like the sun coming down, but oof, you definitely feel it. But anyways, it is like hard to vlog because it's so crowded, filled with people, so I'll check with you guys a little bit later. Well, we found it, Takashita Street, which is like the main street of Harajuku, and holy cow, do you guys see the people? Note to self, Harajuku is crazy to walk in, but we found this really cool cotton candy factory, and so Alondra really wants one, so we're gonna get her one, but they are massive. Okay, these are seriously the cutest cake pops I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. You voted that she gonna shoe make your cotton candy? Wow. to film us with it but we took a bunch of pictures but this is the aftermath it is massive but it's a bunch of different flavors it's actually really good you like it gorda are you happy this place is so chaotic though it's called rainbow sweets harajuku but oh yeah here comes somebody right now coming down i don't think there it is it is massive you guys but um yeah it's really 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 crowded that's the street right there okay and we are leaving Harajuku that was an experience I had no idea the streets were that crowded you literally could barely walk it um yeah I don't know if it's because today is Sunday and it's more crowded on a Sunday um I heard it was crowded but I don't know I mean it was on a whole other level <laughs> Uh, and we have the stroller and it was really hard for Edam and stuff like that But honestly, it was mainly just shops and then like it was like um, I don't know like a lot of like cutesy like different kind of like Food not really food though. I feel like more like snacks. They like a lot of like funky stuff 
like crepe ice cream they had like the rainbow cotton candy and like a bunch of like funky drinks and stuff like that so it was very like i don't know what the word is very harajuku <laughs> but it was it was really cool but i mean it was just really crowded and honestly we weren't gonna really do like shopping yeah the cotton candy we weren't gonna really do like clothes shopping there i did want to go into the daiso we walked past it but i mean it was it was insane and it was just like it was overly crowded honestly idam and i got very like uh, like claustrophobic and then like angry like i need to get the heck up out of here but so it was just like mm, it was cool we walked it but um yeah just a little too crowded for us so we are going to walk back to who what kind of car is that oh it's a motorcycle just kidding so we're gonna walk back to shibuya it's gonna be like 20 minute walk or so so we're gonna head back there get a bite to eat because honestly we've only had breakfast and that was like mcdonald's and what time is it right now like two oh it's 307 so yeah we've been like really 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 busy bees just walking everywhere so we're gonna walk back and get some food and then probably after that head back to the hotel to so maybe see if there's anything else like close around here but i don't know pretty tired and Alondra is definitely kind of like over the exploring for today so we'll see what we do but first Shibuya and then food <laughs> wanted to have like lunch slash dinner it's currently four o'clock so i guess it's like an early lunch dinner it's really cool so it's called uobe i'm not sure if i'm like pronouncing that correctly but it is a sushi like restaurant where you order off a tablet and then it like brings you your sushi roll like on a little like they call it like a bullet train it's really cool let me show you guys like i'm really excited about eating here what do you think babe is it cool yeah so these are our tablets, you can switch it to like English or whatever. Um, so I ordered the shrimp tempura roll, the tuna roll, and a Coke. You can get three um, sushi rolls at a time. But um, this is just kind of like everything here. And oh look, you can see it's like shooting it by and it's, oh, is that yours? Look at that, it knew to go to you. What did you get? I You got tuna? That is cool. Oh, go careful Gorda, because then you're going to order something. I would open stuff up and start looking. But yeah, this is really cool. They also have like dessert and stuff like that. And they have like side dishes. They have noodles. They have so much stuff. So yeah, so you have see like the menus up here too. And oh, there goes another. That is so freaking cool. So all of a sudden, a tray of food comes out with these noodles, these noodles, those noodles. And Alondra goes, yay, my noodles are here. So she was messing with this and ordered three things of noodles. I have no idea what it is, but, oh, chamaca. Oh, uh-oh, ooh. My shrimp tempura roll. Yeah, no more touching buttons, okay? That's not good. And you push the button, and then it leaves. Which one? 
you get, honey? Tuna. Tuna? I, I just had that too. Uh -oh. <laughs> Which one is that? Shrimp, spicy shrimp. Let me see your stack. Daddy's got four, and he ate both of those accidental ramen. Oh, wow, baby, I have four too. And then I'm gonna try to eat the other one that she ordered. Huh, you ordering food and you're not supposed to. What you get? Just two in a row. <laughs> my favorite. All right, this is my damage. I had one, two, three, no, one, two, three, four, five rolls. I ate one of the ramen, but eat, look at Eat Hum's damage here. Oh my God. He had two bowls, and how many plates is that, honey? Eleven. Eleven plates? Gordo! <laughs> And oh my gosh, it was so good, you guys. Okay, we're gonna leave the Shibuya area, I think, and head back to our hotel. But we're gonna do the Shibuya crossing one more time, but you guys, the people this time, it is, it's a lot more than earlier. I don't know if you guys can like see the crowd, but it is massive, and we're gonna cross it again. And I just, yeah, I that's, that's a lot of damn people. Shibuya crossing one more time. Oh my gosh, it's like a sea of people. We did it! <laughs> we survived! Oh my god, I don't know why that is so fun, but isn't that like fun? It's like a highlight, I don't know why, but all right, now to get into the train station and find the Ginza line, and then hopefully we, we don't get lost with that. Just to give you an idea what we just did, we were on that side, so where you see the Starbucks, we were over there and we quashed that intersection. But and we just walked through this sea of people. But yeah, literally, this is the crossing. This is, this is honestly a great spot to be able to see the whole view of it. But literally, yeah, the doggy statue is right there, Hachiko. So that's the statue, there's the crossing. And then as soon as it turns green, everyone is gonna start walking. All right, it just turned green, and now look, there goes everyone crossing. It's just a sea of people. Wow, babe, that's so crazy, like we just did that. That is, that is a lot of people. And we did that. Surprise! <laughs> well, what's going on with Jacho? So, uh, uh, this is uh, not the same day as the Tokyo vlog. Um, I think I said this yesterday, but I for realized I forgot to end the vlogs on some of those days. So Alondra and I are just chilling in the hotel room in Dallas, and I was editing this vlog, getting it ready to go, but I needed an ending clip. So I hope you guys did enjoy seeing that vlog and Shibuya. That was actually a lot of fun. I think the highlight for me um, was the Shibuya crossing. I was just, just so obsessed with that. Are you gonna copy everything I say, Loka? Yeah. And then the um, bullet train sushi was really cool too. I mean, the Meiji Shrine was beautiful, but you will see when we go to the Sinsoji Temple, like that is just breathtakingly gorgeous. So, anyways, but we had a great time, a great day. I was bummed about the whole Harajuku. I wish we could have done more and walked around more, but honestly, it was just so crazy crowded, and it was just, it was too much. We also found out that going on the weekends to Harajuku is a no-go. Like, don't do it because it's overly crowded. And then also, too, it was a holiday weekend. So, like, Monday was a national holiday in Japan, so it was even extra crowded because they all had, like, Monday off. So, um, kind of a bummer, but at least we got to, I guess, somewhat see it. And someone got cotton candy, which she didn't even finish at all. And that, you know, ended up getting hard and got thrown away, so. The way this was bad. Yeah, it went bad, huh? Yeah. But all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.
Bye, Chachos. Poop. Hehehehehehe. <laughs>